There's one. Oh, big one. I gotta stand up for this guy. Alright, let's see that redneck anchor. This is my redneck anchor system. I've got, got a dog leash. Dog leash that goes 25 feet and it can stop where you want. <laughs> and I've got a oh, window. Oh my window will anchor out of a house. That's pretty innovative. So I drop it down, tie it around my seat, and I sit in place. That's pretty innovative. A dog leash anchor. If you guys good. have ever made a better anchor than that, drop it down in the comments below. I don't think you're gonna top dad's anchor. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I'm excited. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. Coming at you from a pond today in Missouri. Back in Missouri visiting the fam. We got the little two-man boat with us out here with dad today. How you doing? Doing wonderful. And if you're a bank fisherman, you know you always want to cast around the edges of the pond before you put in and do a little fishing before you spook stuff putting in your two-man boat. He's throwing a little frog around, but we're we're excited. There's some giant fish in here. What did you say you caught last time? I caught my record crappie, 2.6 pounds. That's huge. That's big. That's a huge crappie. And you caught some big bass too, right? Yeah, I caught some four pounders. Yeah. Four pounders. So we're going to fish for both bass, crappie, bluegill today. We're going to fish for a little bit of everything. See what giants live in here. This is an old pond, guys. An old pond. Some big old fish. It's got a nice little dock over here. But you haven't seen many two-man boat videos on my channel a little bit back when we lived in Missouri. But we're going to put the two-man boat in. I'm excited. Hopefully, catch some big old Missouri bass today. You want to do a challenge today? Sure. What What do we always do? First biggest and most. First biggest and most. So if he catches one right now, it doesn't count. Because <laughs> I'm not fishing. I'm doing the intro. First biggest and most loser buys dinner. But that's the best way to win it when you when I got it in the water when <laughs> you don't. Loser buys dinner. Loser buys dinner. There we go, guys. First biggest and most challenge. Dad and I always did that growing up. We, we, we'd always bet a dollar each category, but I'm excited. Let's get out here and catch a few. All right, let the games begin. Throwing, oh, he's got a wire jig on here with a black and blue beaver. Green, red flake jig, black and blue beaver. That's gonna be the juice today, I guess. Is that the good, the good stuff there, Dad? Good stuff. <laughs> that big crappie. Well, I'm dock fishing. I'm dock fishing. <laughs> oh, no way you're at. It's a pretty deep pond, huh? 20 feet. 20 foot deep pond. Some wacky hooks. Ooh. That's like, yeah, I got the first. You got one on? First, biggest, and most. Oh, that shoot. Right there. I'm over here tying one on. That doesn't oh, even count. Well, that doesn't even count. <laughs> that's as big as your lure. Yeah, okay, I know. That's something. That's terrible. <laughs> Don't first hook yourself. You didn't say what it had to My be. goodness. Dad just caught him a bluegill. Over here talking smack. I'm putting on Cinco, though. Wow. <laughs> That's pitiful. That shouldn't even be legal. <laughs> that shouldn't even be legal. <laughs> now I gotta catch the biggest and the most, guys. Three pounds? No, it's 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 a uh, like five point two. Oh, it is. Okay. There's one it's on the Senko. <laughs> Yeah, I got one now, Dad. There we go. Take that. I got the biggest. We're tied for the most. What do you think about that one? There you go. 12, 12 incher. Yep. If you can't get bit, tie on you. Tie you on a wacky Senko. Go to work. Yeah, I can use a lot more this year. Go to work. Sure you were. I haven't had much luck. I've only been to this place twice since it's muddy. That's good adventure. Yeah. It's really good. I mean, it's only just fishing in the tent, huh? Oh, I got one. You got one? Shoot. What do you got? I saw a jump on. Just a little bass. Bass? There you go. 
I think mine was bigger. It's about the same. <laughs> well, shoot. Whooping me on that crankbait. Easy catch and release there, huh? Doing 360s. Dad turned him around and said, You ain't getting to this spot. <laughs> Oh, another one. Oh, it's a better one. It's going to be the biggest one of the day. <laughs> He's pulling the boat, huh? I haven't even seen him yet. He's under the boat right now. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a bass. Oh, yeah. Jumper. Jumper. Oh, come on, buddy. Come here. Oh, it's always finessing them into your little two-man boat. Look at that. Turn around so you can see it here. That's a beautiful one there. Yeah, he's he's probably two and a half. Yeah, nice. Fat. Look how fat he is. Ready. Yep. Okay, guys. Andrew is leading the big fish category. We're tied two to two. All right, gonna release this this decent bass here. About a two and a half. We'll call him two and a half. Oh. Woo! He might have been two and three quarters. He's fat. He was fat. Were they? Yeah. yeah. That color purple these things like. That just got hit. Pretty. That there thing. he is. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that pretty colors on that? It is. That's a pretty yeah, crankbait. See, and there are pretty colors on that one? Yeah, it's kind of bland. What happened to my pretty, bait? Pretty colors on that one. Oh, yep, it's up the line. <laughs> Number three. Nordby Sun just took the lead <laughs> on the most. I'm winning, guys. Biggest and the most right now. Take that, Dad. What do you think about that? Yeah. yeah. You scared? You scared? I think he's scared, guys. We got time on my way to the Oh! Oh! He stole my Senko. Stole the whole thing. Catch so many fish, I'm gonna make Dad put on a Senko here in a little bit, I bet. Oh, wacky rig. Dad doesn't have any more blood sankos. Oh, you, you got one? You got a good one? Oh, <laughs> moss, moss fish. Nope. There's one. Oh, dang it, he got off. Ah, got off right at the boat. Felt like a decent one. 12 pounder at least. Hooked up on the crappie jig below us. About 10, 12 foot. Look at that one, Dad. That's a big bluegill. You, you want to keep any flay? That's a good bluegill. Pretty good one. Yeah. You want me to throw them back? Alright. Gotten you away from it too much. Blame it on me. There's one. First cast with the beaver. How about that, Dad? Another one. There we go. Let's see, buddy. Texas rigged beaver. She'll be around in that corner on three wheels. Yep. That's my fifth one there, Dad. You're on the struggle bus now. Yeah, I'm looking you. Take my face. He was out here by this 
chunk of good grass right on the edge of it. Oh shoot! Got it off. You got one, Dad? Dad's got one, and I missed one. Let's see how it is. You already throw him back? What, a little 12 incher? Yeah. Yeah, right There's right. one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another one. Beating you there, Dad. I know. A bunch of little guys. That one's a humpback. If I've ever seen one, look at that. Big old humpback. Yeah, yeah, humpback whale. That's a better one. Oh, he jumped and spit it. Little turd. Yeah, that was a little better one. About a two pounder. Chilling by himself. The day I look, there's one. Oh yeah. That's a decent one. He bit right by the boat. A little deeper. A little deeper. They're biting a little deeper. Another good one. Okay. On the beaver. There you go, Dad. What do you think? Nice. Two. Oh, that's a type of two pounder. Two pounder. Get an old belly release. See ya, buddy. Hey, you can't tell me he's small. I'm whooping your butt. <laughs> that's number eight. I retie. There's one. Ooh, that's a decent one. Threw off the beaver. Thanks for biting, buddy. Oh yeah. That's more than Decent one. About a 15 incher. Back dive. Yeah, that was getting an eight out of ten. Number 11. Number 11. I missed my last one on video. Dad and I are doubled oh, up. What if I got a beast? You, oh, oh my gosh. You see the thing yanking? Yeah, you're the giant, Dad. Oh, wow. Five oh. They're in the corners. They're in the corners of the pond. The best one of the day, right there. Yeah, you almost got the biggest, huh? You're going straight into shore. Just a warning. 10 foot. There you go, Dad. You caught my beaver. Shoot. <laughs> oh, I got tapped. There she goes. Yep. Number 12. Oh, I just. There he is. Oh, shoot. I just lost him. He stole my whole beaver. Right under us, pretty much. Right after you went over that. There you go, Dad. That's a good one. Jumper. Yeah. Over here in the corner. Good one. There you go, Dad. All right. Two and a quarter. I still got you beat on the big. I still got you beat. Sorry. Not getting the big one that easy. You that was number windy. seven for you. Steering this windy mess. There you go. I'm at 13. Yeah, I know. You got the handicap because you're driving, really. All right. Seeing dogs. Dad's dog leash coming into play here. Now how you gonna hook it? Okay. All right. That's all you gotta do, huh? And you just lock it, yep. lock it in place. That's it. Wow, you're fancy. Is it holding us? 
kind of is. Cool. It's pretty windy. I'm impressed. I haven't fished it or been on it or anything. It might be a little bigger. It might be not as round, but more, a little more slender, a little longer. There's one. Oh, he got off. He smoked it. Dang. That was a good one. There's one. Smoked the chatterbait. Two hits in a row. Windy banks in your ponds, guys, with weeds. Throw it in between the weeds. Catch them on the chatterbait. There we go. Nice little 14 incher. See? There's this one pond that is loaded with bass. I must have caught over 30 bass in a row on the same cast on a windy corner like this on a chatterbait. There's one. Yep. Oh, that's a stud. That's bigger than my other one. Yeah. Oh, that's a stud. Oh, well, on the chatter. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, three pounder. Three pounder. Ah, uh, two and three quarters. Three pounds, he might be three pounds. What do you guys think? It's hard to tell. Big old head on him, look at that mouth. What do you think, Dad? Two and a half. Two and a half, I don't know. I'm, I, he's a little bigger than that one I caught earlier, those two and a half. We'll go two and three quarters. We'll meet in the middle, how about that? <laughs> Number 15. <laughs> yep, and I missed one. Just tied on the chata. Right on that weed line. I know it. You gotta set that hook pretty hard since I'm using a spinning reel. A little fairy wand. A little seven foot fairy wand. So get this. Dad actually put a bait casting rod on his spinning reel. He cut off the nub of the bait caster right there of the of the rod. So I got a little more power than you think with this spinning setup. <laughs> you got one first cast? No way. Dad's first cast with the chatterbait. That's a stud too, Dad. Wow. That's a stud. Don't break him off. Open up your veil if you need to. That's a stud. You want me to grab him? That's the biggest one of the day, Ah, I think you did get the biggest one of the day on your... Ah, uh, no, no. He's... Uh, I think we're tied there, Dad. I don't know. Yeah, we're tied. I'd say we both caught one about three. Let's see him. Good one, Dad. Good job. First cast with the chatterbait. We've been throwing on beavers, Texas rigs, Senkos. What'd you say? Yeah. They're good. Good baits. Dad put on a little darker one, like a green pumpkin. Same color shad swim bait. These are reaction strike swim baits. But. A little bit darker chatterbait so they got these swim baits on shopcarls.com you can get them like 40 percent off really good deals reaction strike chunky sheds check them out guys big old paddle tail great little chatterbait trailer there's one yep windy bank crazy how they can just turn on with a different lure isn't it it's awesome gotta love it 13 incher that's number 16 there dad 16 to 9 these little corners are hot pulling the anchor see how easy it is comes in you got no extra rope on the side of the boat that's pretty nice huh Wow. Ooh, it's all muddy, isn't it? Sunk way down in the mud. In the muck. There's that one. Oh, shoot, he got off. That was on the beaver. I feel like a good one, too. This is the beaver spot, isn't it? The beaver corner and the chatterbait corner. All right, maybe it's not just the beaver corner. 
Yeah, the wind's going to that other corner, so they're more active. Here, it's a little calmer, but you still caught one. I missed one on chatterbait and a beaver. There you go, Dad. You're up to 10. 10 to, I think I'm at 16. Got one? Good one? Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah, jumper. There you go. Get him, Dad. That's a good one. That's another two and a half. <laughs> Got caught on the camera. That chatterbait's where it's at today, huh? Good one. I'll start throwing mine again. It's catching up. 11 to 16. And we're tied for the biggest right now. Yeah, the biggest got off on me right here. Hey, I broke off the biggest over there. I don't want to hear it. Well, that thing was huge over here. Uh-huh. There's one. Oh, big one. I got to stand up for this guy. Yeah. Straight behind us and a little bit deeper. Deeper water. All right. I thought he was bigger than that, but another two and a half. Yeah. What a beaut. Sweet. Smoked it. Smoked it. Now we're in this corner. Got to cast back out here and go back to back. Two opposite sides. Come on. That's a good one. Chatterbait? Yep. In the corner again. We keep making laps around this pond and catch them in the corners. Good one. Oh, I just got bit. Mine, mine let go though. Hmm. There you go, Dad. Two pounder. Good one. Good one, Dad. What do you think there, Dad? Fun day. A little sore than I expected because of the storms. I think, but it was great. He beat me with the mount. He beat me with how many, but we got time for the biggest. We did. And I got the first. Dad got the first one, that tiny little bluegill. Gotta give him crap for that. And then we ended up catching a bunch of fish. I caught 17 bass, or 17 fish, one, one bluegill. Dad caught 12, one bluegill. And man. I was hoping we'd get some on top water, but we did not get any top water action today. Caught them all on Texas rigs, weightless Senko, and then the chatterbait bite really turned on. That was cool. Uh, we, yep. we made like, I don't know, it's not that big of a pond. We made like three laps around it. Top water stuff this morning, Senko's next, Beaver's the next time or two, and then, I don't know, we switched to chatterbaits in the windy corner. We probably caught 10 more fish on the last lap because they wanted to eat that moving chatterbait. Pretty cool. Fun day. Uh, we we're throwing little Z-Man chatterbaits with reaction strike trailers on them right there. Good little chunky shad swim baits. You can get those at shopcarls.com. Uh, good deal on those, that's for sure. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. Did you have fun, Dad? I did. You got to see how my uh, nice anchor system works. I know. Works. Tell, tell them nice. about it. Tell them how that works. How do we do that? You just top off the water and you lock it in place wherever yeah. you're at. I put around bottom of my bottom of my stool. Yep, yep. And when you and come up, you just drag it up. You don't have all this extra rope laying in the bottom of your boat. Worked pretty good, didn't it? It, it did. It's 15 mile an hour wind in that corner, and that little window anchor held us there in one spot. That's sweet. So I have fun. I didn't awesome think. fishing with you again. It's been a while. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Get out, go fishing. God bless you. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.